Hello, everybody. My name is Ed Martin, and I'm Executive Vice President of Sales and Marketing for EAM Mosca Corporation. The company has been in business in the Americas region for over 35 years. If you'd like to learn more about our business in general and our innovative technology, please visit our website at eammosca.com. The purpose of my uh, discussion today is to discuss our ultrasonic sealing technology for strapping in combination with polyester or PET strapping. But before I get started with that discussion, I would like to recognize that both PET strapping and polypropylene strapping are very important strapping products utilized in the packaging industry today. Both have their place, both have applications where they excel. So in some cases, polyester would be best, in some cases, polypropylene would be best. And here's a place where polypropylene is best. Polypropylene is typically used on smaller strapping machines, what we refer to as a bundler. And here you see a coil of our five millimeter polypropylene strap. And th these products would typically be used for uh, any variety of general applications, but typically you also see the corrugated industry, graphic arts, mailing, uh, and other industries, newspaper, as well as uh, healthcare distribution, which is a new application for us today. Polyester strapping, and I have two coils of polyester strapping here. Um, this is a coil that can be used on a smaller machine or a bundler, and this is a, a coil that you would typically see utilized for a machine that would do unitized or pal fully palletized loads. And what you see right here is actually a head that would be used on the very large strapping machines that are typically used on fully palletized loads. This is technology that uses a friction seal technology, and it's a very robust uh, uh, head, uh, as you can imagine, to pull the types of tensions for the products that are on fully palletized loads. Next to it is our Sonics ultrasonic sealing head. And this is the size of a head that would be used in a bundler, whether it's ultrasonic or potentially even a heat seal head. These are typically the size that you would see and recognizing that those, that is something that would fit inside of a smaller machine as well. So what's the problem? The problem is when you're using polypropylene on very, very heavy products, as you can see here, this strapping product has a tendency to loosen, or we would say elongate over time. And that's just a natural property of, of polypropylene that you will see, but it's typically something that, that really becomes a problem when you have a heavy load. Next to the polypropylene strap here, you see me lifting the PET or polyester strap. And you can see the tension, it, is, it has much more tension and it's not a loose strap at all. And that's why we see it as something that would be very, very valuable uh, for heavier, heavier products. So I'm sure the question is coming around that you're thinking of is, well, why not just run polyester material inside of a bundler head, standard bundler head that you would see in the industry? And that kind of solves the problem. The issue is, is the market until EA and Mar Mosca came along with Sonics technology had exclusively used heat seal technology on bundlers. And so our answer, our innovation here is using the Sonics head in combination with polyester. And I'm gonna actually uh, throw a strap here for you to look at. And you're looking at the ultrasonic seal that's created by a high frequency, low amplitude vibration. There's no applied heat. You can see that I'm touching that and I'm, I'm not, not getting burned. That would not be the case if that was a heat seal. And uh, so you don't have heat and so you don't have the, the type of toxic fumes that you typically will see. And these fumes have been identified by, by many regulatory agencies as being very, very undesirable in the manufacturing environment. So what are the benefits? Looks like the application works well, but are there any other benefits that we can identify? Well, certainly when it comes to heavier products, you can imagine someone who's experiencing loose straps, uh, maybe one of their 
ideas to make this less of a problem is to put more straps on it in case a strap breaks or a in case a strap may slip off the package, uh, apply more straps. In the case of polyester, that's not something that you have to do. In fact, most of our customers that have converted from polypropylene to polyester have found that they use 30% fewer straps on their products. Another benefit is from a supply chain damage standpoint. With loose straps, become loose boxes, become damaged products, become returns for our customers. And that's not something that they obviously wanna see. So they've seen a real benefit using polyester strap to reduce their damage. And the third, a third benefit to talk about is what we would call the green benefit. And we do mean green in terms of the environment, but we also mean green in terms of the dollars and cents. Because using recycled resin or different, different recycled products or reclaimed products in our process, we're able to actually make a product that's green for the environment and green for our customers as well. Thank you for your time. I appreciate you listening to uh, our uh, presentation today. And right now we're gonna take you out into a manufacturing operation to give you a sense of how this polyester strap is manufactured at EAM Moscow Corp.